Shochu is a Japanese distilled beverage less than 45% alcohol by volume. It is typically distilled from rice kome, barley mugi, sweet potatoes satsuma imo, buckwheat soba, or brown sugar kakuto, though it is sometimes produced from other ingredients such as chestnut, sesame seeds, potatoes or even carrots. Typically shochu contains 25% alcohol by volume, which is weaker than whiskey or standard strength vodka but stronger than wine and sake. It is not uncommon for multiple distilled shochu, which is more likely to be used in mixed drinks, to contain up to 35% alcohol by volume. Etymology <inaudible> 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 Linguistically, the word shochu is the Japanese rendition of the Chinese shaoju pinyin, shaoju, literally, burned liquor, which is an obsolete form in modern Japanese. Culture Drinking <culture> 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 Shochu should not be confused with sake, a brewed rice wine. Its taste is usually far less fruity and depends strongly on the nature of the starch used in the distilling process. Its flavor is often described as nutty or earthy. Shochu is drunk in many ways according to season or personal taste. Neat, i.e., on its own with nothing added. On the rocks, i.e., mixed with ice. Diluted with room temperature water or hot water Mixed with oolong tea or fruit juice As chuhai, a mixed drink consisting of shochu, soda, ice and some flavoring, often lemon, grapefruit, apple or ume Mixed very cold with a beer-flavored beverage known as hapishochu is widely available in supermarkets, liquor stores and convenience stores in Japan while canned chuhai drinks are sold in some of Japan's ubiquitous vending machines. However, it is more difficult to find shochu outside Japan except in urban areas with large enough Japanese populations. Interest in shochu has begun to grow in North America, particularly in cosmopolitan cities such as Los Angeles, San Francisco, Vancouver, Toronto, and New York. Dedicated shochu bars have begun to appear in New York and more than 100 brands are now available in the U.S. market. In Kyushu, the center of production, shochu is far more common than sake. Indeed, here sake generally means shochu, and is normally consumed mixed with hot water. First hot water is poured into the glass, then shochu is gently added. The liquids mix naturally and stirring is unnecessary. Typically, the amount of shochu exceeds the amount of hot water, and is enjoyed for its aroma. Occasionally, shochu and water are mixed, left to stand for a day, and then gently heated. <laughs> Boom The early 21st century witnessed a consumer boom in shochu within Japan, and in 2003 domestic shipments surpassed those of sake for the first time. Shochu bars appeared serving shochu exclusively, and premium brands with a focus on particular ingredients, production methods, or aging techniques entered the market. The beverage has undergone change of image, formerly it was seen as an old-fashioned drink, but now has become trendy amongst young drinkers, particularly women. The boom also had negative effects, it caused a serious shortage of sweet potatoes, a basic ingredient of some popular types of shochu and, with the emergence of expensive premium brands, pricing scams appeared. In 2005 the Japanese television drama Kaiken na Aneki illustrated this change in drinking habits. Its plot centered on the Minagawa family of Miyazaki province, who were brewers of a sweet potato shochu called Imohochu. The lead character Hiroko Ito Masaki spends the majority of the series trying to come up with enough money to save the brewery from loan sharks, but in the process becomes involved with corporate distilleries. The larger companies formulate an advertising campaign that results in the Imohochu becoming a popular drink. In this fictional account the beverage is marketed to young women, when it previously had been mostly consumed by the older male generation. There are several reasons for Shochu's recent popularity. With increasing health consciousness, many people see it as more healthy than some alternatives. There have been well-publicized claims of medical benefits, including that it can be effective in preventing thrombosis, heart attacks, and diabetes. 
It is also a versatile drink that is suited to most styles of cuisine. Shigechio Izumi, a Japanese citizen who apparently lived to be 105, made shochu part of his daily dietary regimen. This practice was mentioned along with his record in the Guinness Book of World Records. Because of his intimate passion for shochu, many have speculated that shochu is healthy and can actually promote longevity. This even prompted some local Ryukyu shochu brewers to market a special longevity liquor shochu bearing his likeness on the front label. Despite these claims, Izumi's personal physician strongly advised against drinking shochu, as his kidneys were not strong enough to process shochu in his advanced age. But Izumi went on to say, without shochu there would be no pleasure in life. I would rather die than give up drinking. History The exact origin of shochu is unclear. Alcohol The strength of shochu was originally called araki in Arabic or rambiki alembic in English in Japan. Arak is a generic term for a variety of distilled alcoholic drinks throughout the Middle East. Shochu originated in Persia, spreading west to Europe and east to India, Thailand and Okinawa. Around the mid-16th century, the technique arrived in Kagoshima, where shochu was born. The distilled alcoholic beverage in Okinawa is known as awamori. As far as can be determined from the Japanese historical record, shochu appears to have been made since at least as far back as the 16th century. When the missionary Francis Xavier visited Kagoshima Prefecture in 1549, he recorded that, The Japanese drink a rock made from rice. but I have not seen a single drunkard. That is because once inebriated they immediately lie down and go to sleep. The oldest existing direct reference to shochu in Japan can be found at Koryama Hachiman Shrine in Okuchi, Kagoshima. There, two carpenters working on the shrine in 1559 inscribed the following graffiti on a wooden plank in the roof. The high priest was so stingy he never once gave us shochu to drink. What a nuisance. From these early times through to the Edo period shochu was produced throughout Japan in the traditional kasutori way, using a single round of distillation. During the Meiji period, machinery for repeated distillation was imported from Great Britain, making cheap mass production of high-purity shochu possible during a time of chronic rice shortages. Shochu made the traditional way was called old-style shochu, and that produced using the new multiple distillation machinery, new style shochu. Topic: <laughs> Definition and classification. Japan's alcohol taxation law, as revised in April 2006, defines two categories of shochu, also called white liquor. Topic: Multiply distilled shochu. Alcohol distilled more than once with special machinery for that purpose, diluted for sale to an alcohol by volume level of less than 36%, that meets the following conditions. Fruit or grain that has been allowed to germinate is not used as a base ingredient in whole or in part preventing brandy and malt whiskey from being considered shochu. It is not filtered through charcoal. If sugar is used as a base ingredient, in whole or in part, then the result of distillation must be at least 95% alcohol by volume see discussion under brown sugar shochu. It is not fortified at distillation time with other than expressly permitted ingredients eliminates liqueurs, until the 2006 revision the law referred to this category as korui shochu, shao jo ja lei shochu korui, class A shochu, sometimes abbreviated to koshu. It is generally distilled from a fermented liquid similar to molasses. Repeated distillation forms ethyl alcohol of high purity which is typically odorless and has a taste of little distinction. Water is then added, and the precise nature of this water has subtle effects on the taste and palatability of the shochu. Shochu korui is made from sweet potato, potato, and corn. It is generally produced in modern large factories. Distillers make shochu korui by weakening the distilled alcohol. The specialized distillation equipment, called a patent still lends it to mass production at low cost, so large corporations produce this kind of shochu in high volume. In Japan it retails in plastic bottle, can, and paper cup form and is consumed as a cheap alcoholic drink. 
It forms the base of several cocktails and liqueurs such as Chuhai and Umeshu. Topic: <laughs> Singly distilled shochu. Alcohol distilled using other than multiple distillation machinery, with alcohol by volume of no more than 45%, from one of the following Ferment whose primary ingredient is grain or potato and their koji Ferment whose primary ingredient is grain koji Ferment whose primary ingredient is sake lees, possibly with rice and or its koji see kasutori shochu. Ferment whose primary ingredient is sugar restricted types and rice koji see brown sugar shochu. Ferment whose primary ingredient is grain or potato and their koji along with other ingredients, provided the other ingredients form no more than 50% by weight. Other substances with certain restrictions until the 2006 revision the law referred to this category as atsurui shochu, shao jo yi lei shochu atsurui, class B shochu, sometimes abbreviated to Atsushu. The equipment used for single distillation is called a pot still. As the shochu is distilled just once it retains the character of the base ingredient, typically rice, barley or potato, with a strongly individual taste and aroma. Small to medium size enterprises make most brands, with the island of Kyushu famous as the center of production. Recently however larger corporations have been entering the market. Topic. Maturation Fresh shochu is shipped after maturation. Maturation techniques vary in storage vessel and location, both of which affect the character of the shochu. The most commonly used containers for aging shochu are stainless steel tanks, clay pots, and wooden barrels or casks. As a result of maturation, the flavor and aroma of shochu settle. Maturation generally takes between one and three months. Maturation from three to six months is called beginning maturation. During this period, sharp flavors in the shochu generally decrease. Shochu matured from six months to three years usually has a mellow taste. A shochu called long-term maturation is matured for more than three years. But long-term maturation does not always improve the flavor. On the other hand, long-term maturation is particularly effective for awamori. Distillers often mature awamori for longer than ten years. Topic. Locations Shochu is matured in various places to impart unique flavors, typically where there are minimal variations in temperature and humidity. These places include tunnels and limestone caverns. Topic. Honkaku shochu Until 2006 Japanese post-war tax law classified shochu into korui and atsurui types. The terms ko and atsu yi are Chinese celestial stems typically used for classification, and mean something akin to grade A and grade B, respectively. Fearing a tendency to believe that Atsurui Shochu is somehow inferior to Korui Shochu, the Kyushu Atsurui Shochu Producers Association lobbied the Finance Ministry, and in 1962 succeeded in having Honkaku Shochu, Ben J. Shao Jo Honkaku Shochu, or Authentic Shochu, recognized as an alternative name. The name is believed to have been coined in 1957 by Anatsu Junkichi, the president of Kirishima Brewery of Miyakonojo, Miyazaki Prefecture. However, since the term was not formally defined, naming disputes arose. As a result, on 1 November 2002, the law was clarified and shochu satisfying any of conditions 1 to 5 of the above definition of singly distilled shochu can be called Honkaku shochu. Those satisfying the final condition are excluded. Topic. Shochu consumption in Japan by categories 2016 Shochu consumption in Japan by categories tax base is as follows. Topic. Moramatori Shochu Most singly distilled Shochu is Moramatori Shochu. This name derives from its production process. Raw material treatment. Usually rice or barley is steeped in water, then steamed to promote starch gelatinization and cooled. 
Koji production. Kojikan, or koji mold spores, are cultivated onto the material to form koji mold which creates enzymes as it grows. The enzymes break starch molecules down into sugar molecules that can be fermented, a process called saccharification. Primary fermentation. The koji is mashed by adding water and fermented for seven to nine days in a tank or vat to form unrefined alcohol, called moto or first stage maromi. Secondary fermentation. The steamed main ingredient and water are added to the unrefined alcohol and fermented again to form second stage maromi. The ingredient added during this second stage determines the variety of shochu, for example if sweet potato is added then it becomes potato shochu. Distillation. Purification of the unrefined maromi alcohol. Koji. Koji mold, a kind of aspergillus fungus, has a profound effect on the final taste of the shochu. There are three varieties of koji mold with distinct characteristics. White. Discovered at the beginning of the Taisho period when natural mutation and separation of some black koji to white was observed. This effect was researched and white koji was successfully grown independently. White koji is easy to cultivate and its enzymes promote rapid saccharization, as a result it is used to produce most shochu today. It gives rise to a drink with a refreshing, gentle, sweet taste. Black, mainly used in Okinawa to produce awamori. It produces plenty of citric acid, which helps to prevent the souring of the maromi. Of all three koji it most effectively extracts the taste and character of the base ingredients, giving its shochu a rich aroma with a slightly sweet, mellow taste. Its spores disperse easily, covering production facilities and workers' clothes in a layer of black. Such issues led to it falling out of favor, but due to the development of new Kuro Koji NK Koji in the mid-1980s, interest in black koji resurged amongst Honkaku shochu makers because of the depth and quality of the taste it produced. Several popular brands now explicitly state they use black koji on their labels. Yellow used to produce sake, and at one time all hankaku shochu. However yellow koji is extremely sensitive to temperature, its maromi can easily sour during fermentation. This makes it difficult to use in warmer regions such as Kyushu, and gradually black and white koji became more common. Its strength is that it gives rise to a rich, fruity refreshing taste, so despite the difficulties and great skill required it is still used by some manufacturers. It is popular amongst young people and women who previously had no interest in typically strong potato shochu, playing a role in its recent revival. Water Water is one of the most important ingredients for making shochu. The quality of water affects that of shochu directly. Various kinds of water are used in the process of making shochu. Topic. Varieties There is a broad variety of moramatori shochu. Four locations have achieved protection as geographical indications under World Trade Organization TRIPS Article 23 and are noted below. Topic. Rice shochu Rice shochu, mi shao jo komehochu, shares its base ingredient with sake. It has a fairly thick taste, and appears to have originally developed in regions too warm for sake production. Kumamoto Prefecture is particularly well known for its production of rice shochu. Notably, Kuma shochu, chu mo shao jo, produced in Hitoyoshi Banchi, is protected as a geographical indication. Rice shochu is also produced in regions famous for their sake, such as Niigata and Akita prefectures. Barley shochu Barley shochu, mai shao jo mugashochu, is generally less distinctive than rice shochu and easy to drink. However, if cask aged, the taste can be quite sharp and strongly reminiscent of single malt whiskey. Oita Prefecture, Miyazaki Prefecture, and Iki in Nagasaki Prefecture are strong centers of production. Iki shochu has also been given protection as a geographical indication. Topic. Sweet potato shochu 
Sweet potato shochu uses sweet potato, widely cultivated across southern Kyushu since the Edo period, as its base ingredient. Originally it was almost exclusively produced in Kagoshima and Miyazaki prefectures, but nowadays is made across Japan using locally grown sweet potatoes. It tends to have has a strong taste and a distinctive smell. More recently producers have made varieties whose aroma is somewhat suppressed. Kagoshima's Satsuma Shochu has been given protection under WTO rules as a geographical indication. The 1956 film The Tea House of the August Moon portrayed an American-occupied Okinawan village rebuilding its economy with potato shochu. The taste of potato shochu is a bit smoky, evocative of some whiskies. <laughs> Brown sugar shochu from the Edo period through to the time of the Pacific War, the Amami Islands produced drinks such as awamori and a distilled alcohol based on brown sugar. From the middle of the war through to the American occupation, because of a shortage of rice the base ingredient of awamori and an inability to export the sugar-based alcohol to the mainland, a large surplus was produced. In 1953, when the Amami Islands were returned to Japanese sovereignty, the alcohol was not classified as shochu. Under the 1949 alcohol tax law and therefore would attract a high rate of tax. The Ministry of Finance, taking into account the desire of local residents and as part of a strategy to promote the region, gave special recognition to the local alcohol as brown sugar shochu, Heitang Shaojo Kakuto Shochu. This recognition was geographically restricted to Amami Islands of Kagoshima Prefecture and was conditional on the use of rice koji. This regional restriction remains in place to this day, as can be seen in the legal definition of singly distilled shochu above. Typically brown sugar shochu contains 30% or 25% alcohol by volume. Contrary to what might be expected, brown sugar shochu has a mild and not particularly sweet taste, as it contains no sugar. Nowadays it is produced in 25 breweries in five islands, such as Kakajima, Amami Oshima, Tokunashima, Okinorabujima and Yoranjima, but awamori is no longer made outside Okinawa Prefecture. Before the war another alcoholic drink based on brown sugar was made in the Ogasawara Islands. Its name translates as, sugar alcohol, and could be seen as a form of brown sugar shochu. Production ceased because of the war, but recently, aiming to revive its popularity, a similar alcohol, using no rice koji, has been introduced. However, as Ogasawara does not qualify for the above special regional exemption, this alcohol is instead classified as rum or spirits. <laughs> Soba shochu Soba, or buckwheat, shochu, soba shao jo soba hochu has origins going back to just 1973 when Unkai Brewery Co. of Gokes, Miyazaki Prefecture, developed it using soba from the local mountainous region as its base ingredient. Since then shochu producers across Japan have produced it, sometimes as part of a shochu blend. Taste is milder than barley shochu. Awamori. Okinawa is the home of awamori, pao sheng awamori shochu, which uses rice as its base ingredient. Prior to April 1983 it was labeled atsurui shochu, but is now properly called authentic awamori. Awamori is made from Thai long-grained indica crushed rice, not the usual short-grained japonica of standard shochu. The fermentation process employs black koji mold indigenous to Okinawa rather than the standard white variety, and secondary fermentation is not performed. Fermentation is done in a way that creates plenty of citric acid, allowing it to be produced all year round despite Okinawa's hot climate. After distillation its strength is reduced with water to about 25% alcohol by volume, although some varieties go as high as 43%. Japanese law classifies awamori as singly distilled hankaku shochu despite the different production process. With its method of production awamori could theoretically be made anywhere in Japan, but Ryukyu awamori is a protected geographical indication restricted to Okinawa. Others 
Japanese law admits a very wide range of unusual base ingredients, such as perilla leaf, sesame and chestnut, and shochu made from most if not all of these exists. For example, there is a milk shochu brand called Makiba no Yumi. Others are generic shochu mixed with a particular fruit juice or extracts. With its peculiarity, such shochu is typically intended to catch the eye of visitors to a region and has attracted limited broader appeal. Soba shochu is a good example of one that has managed to achieve more widespread success. Kasutori shochu In contrast to moramatori shochu, kasutori shochu poku ri shaojo is made by distilling the sake leaves left over from the fermentation of sake. It is a form of hankaku shochu. It first became popular in the north of Kyushu, and then spread to other areas, being manufactured during a period when it was not possible to brew refined sake across Japan. It is also widely used in sake production to stop fermentation before it is complete, which can help prevent degradation or give a dry taste. Shochu made for this purpose is called Hashira Shochu. Zushao. During the Edo period Shochu leaves were used as a fertilizer during the rice planting season. Many farms therefore installed distillation equipment to distill sake lees to produce shochu lees. Whilst the lees were used in the fields, the distilled alcohol was drunk, or offered to the gods, at the Sanaburi Zaomiao Shang festival held at the end of the rice planting season to pray for a bountiful harvest. Kasutori shochu has therefore also come to be known as Sanaburi shochu, owing to the recent surge in popularity of shochu in Japan, an increasing number of manufacturers have been making kasutori shochu. Most kasutori shochu is made in modern ways, shochu made via older production processes has decreased sharply. People who wish to preserve Japanese culture call shochu produced the historical way sicho kasutori shochu, jung diao po ku shao jo such drinks have been revitalized by their activities. <laughs> Slang usage Confusingly kasutori is also a slang term for a separate, inferior form of shochu. After the Pacific War, in a chaotic society with a shortage of good alcohol, moonshine shochu began to circulate. Its source and ingredients were not apparent, and in extreme cases contained toxic methyl alcohol diluted with water. Such shochu with ill side effects became known as kasutori, and the association with poor shochu lingered, sometimes even affecting the image of real. Respectable kasutori shochu. The expressions kasutori literature and kasutori culture also came to be associated with the upheavals of the post-war period. Topic: <inaudible> <inaudible> Blended shochu. Singly distilled and multiply distilled shochu can be mixed to form blended shochu. Formerly it was often mislabeled hankaku shochu, or had no indication of mixing or relative volumes. Starting in 2005 the industry regulated itself and created the blended shochu, hunhei shaojo kanwa shochu mark, with subcategorization based upon the relative volumes used. Singly distilled shochu makes up 50% to 95% of the total volume of singly distilled blended shochu. This category is targeted at those viewing pure singly distilled shochu as having too strong a smell or taste, aiming to be softer and more easily drinkable. In multiply distilled blended shochu singly distilled shochu makes up 5% to 50% of the total volume. With a focus on price, this tries to combine the cheap mass production benefits of multiply distilled shochu whilst introducing some of the distinctive flavor and aroma of the singly distilled form. See also Awamori — distilled Okinawan alcoholic drink Rice baiju — distilled Chinese alcoholic drink Soju — distilled Korean alcoholic drink Rota — distilled Vietnamese alcoholic drink Eric — distilled spirits in South and Southeast Asia Iraq Distilled alcoholic drink produced in the eastern Mediterranean countries Ogi Distilled beverage